Rahim. Today we will discuss performance appraisals. Evalu evaluation is an integral part in management and uh, specifically for project man management, appraisal system is required to evaluate the performances of the employees. Now, performance appraisals can be described as a systematic evaluation of performances of several employees so that they can understand all abilities of a person and their development and growth. Performance appraisal is also done in a very systematic manner which includes measuring the pay of employees and comparing it with all plans and targets. Methods of performance appraisals The methods of performance appraisals are as follows. First one is traditional methods and second one is modern methods. These are the further classifications of traditional methods. First one is a ranking method then paired comparison, third one is grading method, fourth one is forced distribution method, then forced choice method, then checklist method, then critical incident method, number eight graphic rating scale method, number nine essay method, number 10 field review method, and number 11 confidential report. Ranking method. It is the oldest and simplest form systematic method of performance appraisal in which employee is compared with all others for the purpose of placing order of work. The employees are ranked from the highest to the lowest or from the best to the worst. Second, paired comparison. In this method, each employee is compared with other employees on one-on-one -on -one basis only. The rater is provided with a bunch of slips, each coining pair of names. The rater puts a tick mark against the employee whom he considers the better of the two. Number third is grading method. In this method, Certain categories of work are established in advance and carefully defined. There can be three categories established for employees, outstanding, satisfactory, and unsatisfactory. The employee is then allocated to the grade that best describes his or her performance. Then fourth one is forced distribution method. This me method assumes that employee's performance level conforms to a normal statistical distribution. For instance, 10, 20, 40, 20, and 10%. This is a useful for rating a large number of employees, job performance, and promo ability it tends to eliminate or reduce bias. Fifth one is forced choice method. Under this method, the rater is forced to answer the ready-made statements as given in the blocks of two or more about the employees in terms of true or false. Once he is done with the list, it is the forwarded it is forwarded to the hr department for the final assessment of the employee checklist method the basic purpose of utilizing checklist method is to ease the evaluation burden upon the rater in this method a series of statements for instance questions with their answers in yes or no are prepared by the HR department. The checklist is then presented to the rater to take appropriate answers to relevant to the appraise. 
each question carries a weight weightage in relationship to their importance critical incidents method the critical incident method requires the rater to record statements that describes extremely good or bad behavior related to job performance the statements are called critical incidents and are usually recorded by the supervisor during the evaluation period for each subordinate recorded incidents include a brief explanation of what is happening graphic rating scale method the graphic rating scale is one of the most popular and simplest techniques for appraising performance it is also known as linear rating scale in this method the printed appraisal form is used to appraise each employee essay method essay method is the simplest one among various appraisal methods available in this method the rater writes a narrative description on an on an employee's strengths weaknesses past performance potential and suggestions for improvement it its positive point is that it is simple in use it does not require complex formats and extensive specific training to complete it field review method this is an appraisal done by someone outside employees own department usually from corporate or hr department advantages are useful useful for managerial level promotions when comparable information is needed and the disadvantage is that outsider is generally not familiar with employees work environment observation of actual behaviors not possible confidential report it is a traditional way of appraising employees mainly in the government departments evaluation is made by the immediate boss or supervisor for giving effect to promotion and transfer usually a structured format is devised to collect information on employees strength weakness intelligence attitude character attendance discipline so on and so forth second main classification is modern methods which are as follows first one is management by objectives then second one is behaviorally anchored rating scales bars third one is assessment centers fourth one is 360 degree appraisal and fifth one is human resource accounting management by objective the concept of management by objective or shortly known as mbo can be described as a process whereby the supervisor and subordinate uh, managers of an organization jointly identifies its common goals define each individual's major areas of responsibility in terms of results expected of him and use them measures as guides for the operating the unit and assessing the contribution of each its members behaviorally anchored rating system or bars are designed to bring the benefits of both qualitative and quantitative data to the employee appraisal process bars compare an individual performance against specific examples of behavior that are anchored to numerical ratings this is the demonstration for bars assessment center is a central location where the managers may come together 
to participate in job related exercises evaluated by trained observers the principal idea is to evaluate managers over a period of time by observing and later evaluating their behavior 360 degree appraisal in 360 degree appraisal system an employee is appraised by his supervisor subordinates peers and customers with whom he interacts in the course of his job performance all these appraisers provide information or feedback on an employee by completing survey questionnaires designed for this purpose human resource accounting human resource method attaches money value to the value of a firm internal human resources and its external customer goodwill under this method performance is judged in terms of costs and contributions of employees difference between the cost and contribution will reflect the performance of the employees